Hey, we're feeling it. Welcome back to the final, final quarter of Friday Night Football. And these are your Play of the Year nominees. We'll start with play number one, STM's Jack A. Bear with a peanut punch, forcing the fumble and coming up with the recovery. Cougs right back in business um, in that game. Play number two is going to involve Iota and running back Jacob Cormier spinning out of a tackle and then going 60 yards for a touchdown. Cormier went absolutely crazy with over 300 yards and three scores in that game against St. Louis. Play number three, Westgate's Brennan Landry completes a short pass to running back Amaz Eugene, which is taken for a 40-yard touchdown run, breaking, breaking three tackles and shaking off the haters in the process on the way to pay dirt. Let's look at nominee number four coming from Southside on second and goal game versus Barb. Fourth down, DB Jake held scoops the fumble and you hear that ring. That's a house call 90 yards for what end up being the game winning touchdown. Play number five comes from Opelousas on the opening kickoff. Makai Jones is going to pick the ball up around the end zone, bobbles it a little bit. He makes his move around the left side, and it's a straight shot to the Walgreens. 40, 30, 20, 10, and a huge touchdown for the Tigers against Abbeville. And speaking of Abbeville, play number six comes from the Wildcats. Blake Sadler says giddy up and he's going to return this one 85 yards for the touchdown in the first quarter of that scoring affair with St. Martinville. Returns was a theme for a few winners in a row. This was when from, was from week seven Lafayette Christians. Brylan Green is going to jump the Notre Dame throw for a pick six to help the Knights secure a 27 to 10 victory over the Pios. Week eight, the winning trend continues. Opening kickoff for North Vermilion. Ethan Guidry fields it and he is gone. He finds the seam and is off to the races. He's not off to see the wizard, but he's in the end zone. The, the senior gave the Pats the early lead in a win over Washington Marion. Nominee number nine, we head back to Southside. Jaden Colbert, he's in a rush. You know why? Because he has reservations for six. This one is heading 95 yards to pay dirt south side winning this game against Como. Our week 10 representative Basil's Ethan Bazinet says baptize me Jesus with the Holy Ghost and that would be a touchdown for Basil and they went up to win in that game. And then the next nominee coming from playoff time, Eunice's Rodrilyn Mitchell. Actually, this one is play number 12. As you see, there is play number 11. Rodrilyn Mitchell coming up with the interception in that one, and he is going to take this one for a 90-yard touchdown. Eunice getting a 41-14 to win in that first round to advance. And finally, from last week, St. Thomas Aquinas says Drew Milton is intercepted by the big fella. We're going to see it come up in just a second. Intercepted by the big fella Ross Miller from Notre Dame. And it's only right that we finish off with the fellas up front. So you know what to do. The drill does not change. Head over to KTC.com and vote after the show. The poll is already online. You can vote until Sunday at 8 o'clock. And then I will bring you the play of the year winner that night on KTC.